it's like an enforced meditation. Uh, you know, you're giving up this two hours to go on a journey of sound and memory. Uh, for people that don't love classical music, uh, I would recommend go in and allow yourself to feel about it the way you're going to feel about it. If you feel bored, know that there are probably musicians on stage who might feel bored at that particular moment. And it's okay. You know, I mean, everything can't be a thrill a minute, which is, I think, another problem with this. It's like, oh, wow, you know, everything is spectacle. And, you know, you have to have some kind of downtime to, to regroup. And uh, so, so, not to say that we choose to be bored, because, you know, there are, there are many thrilling moments, but then there have to be kind of uh, moments of, of repose in between them. Uh, if you don't know anything about classical music, go and look, find an instrument that the sound is just like the coolest thing. Maybe it'll be the string section. Maybe it'll be the first trumpet. And you can focus on that. Uh, you might recognize the music that you might have heard it someplace else, or maybe it sounds like a movie. Or maybe you heard a heard it played a few minutes earlier and it's like wow I remember that or maybe you like the rhythm of something going on I mean I think there are as many ways into what we do as there are people and as there are pieces you know multiply the pieces we play times the people and that's as many avenues into into classical music <laughs>